Hi, everybody. My name is Mike Katz. I work for Benson Capital Partners, and Benson Capital Partners is, is focused on partnering with great entrepreneurs. And so it's really fitting that we're joined today by Todd Graves, who's the founder and CEO of Raising Canes. It's great to be with you today, Todd. Uh, thanks for having me on. And, and you forgot the rest of my title, fry cook and cashier as well. I heard a story about uh, some employees at the Baton Rouge location who were helping to create masks. So maybe you can tell us a little about what's going on there. We had some restaurants that weren't able to reopen because, you know, we don't have a drive through. They might be in a mall. They might be a downtown location. And so we're like, what can what can we do with the crew? Um, we obviously want to keep everybody employed. And what can we do 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 that will help out? And so um, some of the crew wanted to make masks. And so, uh, you know, I was like, that sounds like a great idea. Do you know how to make them? And they said, no, but we'll figure it out on YouTube. And they did. And we got the materials and uh, we've made thousands and thousands of masks now. And they've gone not through, only through Louisiana. They've gone out all over the country. So I said, you know what? Y'all made this initiative happen. I'm proud of you. And now you get the extra title after fry cooking cashier mask maker. There's also been some some fun cases of um, you partnering with with friends and other folks in the community. I'm thinking like the Manning family and, and Mike Thomas to be able to deliver meals to to Oshner and to, to other folks who are really caring for for those uh, in, in in the midst of that the pandemic. Uh, what, what was the genesis of that? Sort of how, how did that all begin? Yeah, I, you know Michael Thomas and I are good friends and. Uh, just, just really like him a lot, and you know, I like him as much for off the field things he does as on field. And uh, and he he wanted to feed uh, the frontline workers canes, and uh, same with Peyton Manning. The Manning family wanted to do the same thing. Uh, both their numbers, I think, doing ten thousand dollars worth, which is uh, which is which is really generous. And so I, I matched him on that personally. And we have the setup. You know, canes is really good comfort food for people working really hard, seeing a lot of. Uh, a lot of sadness out there and so uh we're just happy to partner with people like this you know just people i really look up to obviously the manning family is just legendary in new orleans and really good to new orleans and then michael thomas is the best receiver of all times uh after this last season and so uh i think that helps the uh, frontline workers knowing those superstars and those great people are uh are, are rooting for them and appreciative of them i don't know how much uh folks watching understand that the, the the origin of, of Raising Canes. Can you can you tell us a little bit about the original business plan? Oh man, you know, that, that original business plan, it was my dream and I wanted to open a restaurant and I wanted a cool restaurant at the North Gates of LSU. You know, that was my total dream. But it got the worst grade in the business planning class. It was only a B minus. Rumor is that, uh, you know, the students later said it was a failing grade and that the professor went and created a competing concept. None of that's true. <laughs> Uh, but I did get the worst grade in the class, and and the, and the teacher said it was a. I mean, this was great, but their concept of serving just chicken finger only meals uh, is kind of a dated kind of thought. You know, it's it's restaurants then quick service restaurants were adding variety. They're adding salads. They were going that way, and he said you just didn't do your homework on where the industry's going. But I wanted to go the exact opposite way, and that was the the one love route. So uh, I took that business plan to every bank in town, and they were nice enough to me, but obviously turned me down and uh so i had to raise money myself i went and worked in refineries in los angeles denver hawaii as a boiler maker i went in commercial fish in alaska and finally raised enough money to open that first location the north gates of lsu i have to renovate it with my own hands so if you haven't been to the, that location you gotta go I, I have indeed i've been there um the you know and and, and obviously the business has grown substantially since then and, and you've been a, a, a great supporter and, and friend of the Saints and Pelicans for, for so many years. How has this relationship been helpful for your communications and community and marketing goals? Well, we're huge fans. So, you know, this is my teams, you know, it's, I'm a Louisiana boy and obviously I, I just I bleed black and gold and love the Pelicans. And, you know, it's it's for us, first thing is just our crew. It's a lot of pride. You know, we get to we get to wear those colors and we get to say we're proud sponsors of, of these teams. And so for our crew, uh, it's a real rally point. Uh, uh, from the community, we have incredibly loyal fans. And so being involved with, uh, with the Pelicans and the Saints, uh, people like to support businesses that support good things in their community. And the Saints and Pelicans are that. So we see the loyalty factor um that people want to come they probably come to us more because they know that we're putting we're putting our uh, our time and efforts in partnering with these great uh great teams that make us all so happy and i cannot wait to start watching games again
Well, great. Well, thanks, Todd. Thanks so much for for joining us today on, on Home Team TV. I think after chatting with you for the last several minutes, I, I know I'm certainly hungry, so I'm going to head out to, to my closest canes and um, you know wish you all the best and, and thanks for everything you're doing in the community. Yeah, we're proud to be uh, uh, partners for so very long. Uh, it really brings a lot of pride for both the Saints and the Pelicans. Uh, the organization's been great and uh, and uh, one love. <laughs>